Rebecca right now. Let him know he's at the best song. Wait, 
me understand this. You have a dentist or you're a dentist? I am. And you MacGyver thing? No, no, my patients <laughs> trying to fix their own teeth. They're like, what did you do? And they say, I'm a MacGyver dentist. <laughs> MacGyver something in their teeth? Yes. Yes. They try to fix it. Oh my god. I know. I think 
make 12 episodes of a thing called Legend, where I had so much fun playing this character that was, it was a period western, and um, it got to play this nuts character who drank and smoked cigars and womanized and wore striped underwear. And, um, but it was, it was so much fun to play, that big mustache and got to roll around in the dirt. It was just a great departure from anything else I had done. Uh, you haven't seen it, have you? No. Was that with John Lindsay? Yes, it was. Um, but that was my favorite one. Um, one that you would know? <laughs> Probably... <laughs> However... <laughs> Stargate was so much fun. <laughs> Stargate was so much fun because, um, in part, because I had someone to talk to. It was, got lonely doing MacGyver after a while. Um, but, uh, yeah, Stargate had great people to work with, phenomenal crew, and, and the cast members that I worked with primarily were just, I mean, we're all friends. Uh, we don't hang out. You know, I wouldn't want to go that far. <laughs> So I keep my distance. No, they're all great people, and, um, and we had a ball. So, okay. Of course, there was. I was scared to death doing General Hospital. I had no idea what I was doing. Please. Simpsons is my favorite show. I'd like to know if any of the fabulous props that you've been able to work with ever came home with you. <laughs> I guess a puppy wouldn't count as a prop, right? Co-star. No, we had a dog um, during MacGyver who... No, it was during... Um, the other one, thank you. Stay close. And uh, if you count that as a prop, that was my favorite ones. I took it home for like a night, but had to give it back. Because I was at work all the time. I couldn't take care of the dog that I took from work. <laughs> I just brought him back to work and I kept him there. <laughs> thank you. Please. Mr. Anderson. Yes, sir. I'd like to thank you for the enjoyment you brought us all throughout the years. And I, have a great <laughs> I was a substitute teacher for a year and a half and I created what is called the MacGyver IQ. How do you feel about that? About what? What can you do with what you know? Well, I That's like the cool. idea. The concept is great. Um, thank, thank God I had great writers. <laughs> because I don't think I could, uh, um, real life or fantasy. This is... <laughs> um, I think it's a great idea. I mean, you teach this. Microphone. <laughs> can still talk. So. As a substitute teacher, I wanted the kids not just to go for the grade. I wanted them to go for the information yeah. so that they could apply what they were learning, not just simply get the grade. The MacGyver IQ. What can you do with it now? Dad was a teacher, and he was a big proponent back in the 50s and 60s and 70s. And um, he was a big proponent of uh, uh, digging deeper or going further than you have to go. He, whether you got uh, questions wrong 
on a, on a test or close but not quite, as long as you went at least that far and tried to extend the thought within a question um, or an, an entire test. Getting a little less esoteric here, but it's, um, I love the concept. God bless you. Keep it up. Thank you. I was just talking about that with someone re like within the last 20 minutes. Um, has asked if I uh, if I was uh, popular in Sri Lanka, and I said, um, "Well, yeah, as a matter of fact, no, it was Bangladesh." And so it came to me like a wind. Like it's a rare occurrence when I can remember that far back, but. Um, yeah, I did know that actually. In fact, I tried desperately at some point to go there and never was able. It was, uh, it's actually on a bucket list, but I'm Batman Dark. <laughs> <laughs> he would have came, but he broke his leg, and so I'm up here instead. Mm -hmm. okay. You want to watch your legs. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. 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 How does that feel to be recognized all over the world? I mean, is that kind of eerie or strange to you that people will come up anywhere and say, hey, you're MacGyver, you're Jack O'Neill? Um, well, I don't have to be reminded of that. But <laughs> it, it's, I guess it's okay because, well, what's happening, um, the hot years are have cooled a bit, so it's like I can go through life now and there will be a double take here or there or someone, but what, I've, what I really appreciate about the, I guess the celebrity aspect of all this is the fans that have followed me and, and dig deeper to find out what I'm like, um, really like. <laughs> Hell, I don't even know what that is. But, um, Everyone's been, as long as people are polite, I'll give you, you know, all the time you need. Um, but that's been my experience, is that everybody kind of, who's gotten to know me, done research or observed, um, they respect my space, uh, for the most part. Except for one of you. <laughs> <laughs> Someday, <laughs> and they're 
was a time when I used it a lot in my earlier days. The corkscrew. <laughs> Stick 